Hello, my name is Katie Nooner, and I'm an Ag Business Counselor with Missouri Small Business Development Center. Today, we are talking about business entity basics for small farms. The most common entities for farms are sole proprietorships, partnerships, and limited liability companies, or LLC. Sole proprietorships, or sole props, are the most common business structure. They have one owner, and legally the business and owner are considered one and the same. When filing taxes, a sole prop uses the owner's social security number as the business tax ID number. If a sole prop were to hire employees, remember to file for an employee ID number or EIN. All business income or loss are filed as a Schedule F on the owner's personal tax return. The owner of a sole prop is 100% liable for all business debts, judgments, or lawsuits. This can be a major concern for a sole prop. A partnership exists when two or more people own a business. Each party contributes money, labor, property, or knowledge, and shares in the profit and loss. Partnerships do not require formation documents filed with the Secretary of State, but a written agreement is strongly encouraged. Partnerships have their own EIN, but taxes are filed by each partner. Partners file taxes based on their share of the business on their individual tax returns. Partners are personally liable for all business debts, lawsuits, and judgments. Each partner is liable for all the partner's obligations. The last entity we're going to discuss is a limited liability company or LLC. LLCs are similar to sole props and partnerships in that they are also a pass-through entity. They are not taxable entities in themselves. Income or loss are passed to the members. LLCs are established through Articles of Organization with the Secretary of State. These documents include the name of the business, date of formation, and members. Taxes are filed similarly to sole props or partnerships. If there are multiple members, the taxes are determined on their share of the LLC. The biggest advantage of an LLC is that it shields the members from personal liability from lawsuits, debts, and judgments. If you are forming an LLC, make sure to have separate business banking accounts and all assets are in the business's name. Operating agreements are encouraged to determine how the business makes management and financial decisions. Lastly, I will briefly mention business names. A sole prop, partnership, or LLC may wish to use a name other than the owner's name. This would be called a fictitious name, doing business as, or a DBA. DBAs require fictitious name registration with the Secretary of State. This registration is good for five years in the state of Missouri. A fictitious name registration does not give up exclusive rights to the name chosen. Other businesses may name their business the same as yours. However, it does help establish your business. Thank you for listening today. And for any additional information, please reach out to me at 660-584-3658 or email NoonerCM at Missouri.edu.